The 2021 Horsepower and Pizza We Out Here Tour was made possible by 20 different brands. The support of these great brands helped make this trip possible, and I would appreciate it if you supported the brands that also support Horsepower and Pizza. Autography, Automotive Photography, Tilted Industries, Pittsburgh Car Scene, Barnes Brothers Motorcycles and Off-Road, South Hills Cars and Coffee, Ink and Echo, Proper Polishing, Ross's Sauces, Misfit Auto Works, Totally Baked Powder Coating, Distinct Automotive Appearance, Country Style Pizza, Captain Scott Rose BMW Rescue and Rehabilitation, Mason Dixon Heating and Air, Promotion Social Media, LLC, Velocity Aero Works, Wildlife Collective, Hoss Fab Welding, EP Auto House, and Larson's Biscuits. I would also like to thank the Seda family for providing the RV and the lodging. Teddy Westside 412 for donating the wheels, Ashley Garner for donating the roof rack, and the man that made all of this possible, Gordy Shiflet, for donating the car. If you would like one of this year's tour shirts, they are on the website linked in the description, and they are only $5 a piece plus shipping. I would like to thank all of these brands for continuing to support Poor Decisions, and I hope you enjoy the video. Hot Wheels toothbrush. Morning, we're uh, leaving Ohio. It's not too small how good that is. I would wear that as a cologne. Yeah, it's Rub it's... a dub, you've done a wonderful job on the Mark 7. Not really any huge plan other than we're gonna head towards Indianapolis. There's a thrift store that I want to go to because um, it's called Naptown Thrift. It's where Kid Quill gets a lot of his 90s vintage cool stuff that he wears in his music videos and stuff. I don't know, I'm a really big Kid Quill fan, Nolan and I took drunk Antonio to a uh, concert two years ago before like the whole world shut down. I already edited the video from yesterday. Vibes and sweet tea, buddy. Vibes and sweet tea. For anybody that's in Ohio and wondering, they accept EBT for live bait. Maybe we'll get pizza before we leave Ohio. Sight alive. I wanna go to Yamato Steakhouse in Japan in the strip mall next to the Verizon store. It's probably really authentic Japanese food. I bet it is. Like our only thing is like we're not eating at chains that we can get at home. Unless we might go to Ch Chipotle in Denver because Devin Gagliardi said the uh, original one is in Denver. No, I'm trying to get Cane's. I love Cane's so f much. I've never had it. It's banging. Well, we're getting Cane's apparently. I want Cookout. I want In-N-Out, Whataburger. Bro, Ohio does not have inspection. Oh, I can't even show it because these people are getting into it. Ohio doesn't have inspection on their vehicles. There are so many vehicles here that have no bumpers on them. The crash support is destroyed on the front end. Porters are rotted out. Like, it's just bad. Like, and they don't care. They, When Joe and I went to Kentucky to get his 135, we saw a truck that had been flipped over and they just flipped it back over and like taped the windows shut and kept driving it. <laughs> so unsafe. Ohio spec. <laughs> Naptown Thrift, we will see you in two hours. We only got a couple miles down the road before we're pulling off. Why, why are we stopping? You saw a sign for Keynes. So. And it's exit 36, boy, that's a good yeah. number. Yeah. So we're getting Canes and then we'll get back on the road to Indy. We ordered Canes and it says, what make is your car? So I said Ford, model, it's an RV, you can't miss it. Color, it's RV colored. Oh, it's old man tan. We out here though. We, out here, though. we getting Canes, baby. Yeah. Literally like pipeline trash heaven right now because we got Canes and we got a B-dubs right next door to it. Oil field for life, boy. Right there, bro. And an Arby's, they have the meats. Yo! Yo! It's got slicks on, got the, got roof. on the roof. 1325. Hell yeah! <laughs> I don't think I will. We have a different color for each day now. This is infinitely harder to do when the wind is blowing you back and forth. Yep, this is what Indiana looks like. That is a purple OBS Ford next to a PT Cruiser. We're on the phone with Joe. Um, uh, yeah, we're just kind of out here vibing. Oh my God, look at that Buick the on the blades. Buick Verano on blades, <laughs> damn. There's just a road sign dangling and Nolan goes, yo, just get on the roof. <laughs> there's a skylight, dog. <laughs> Just pop that shit out. There's an Etzel in there, and then there's a lifted Geo Metro. That shit is wild. That shit's tight. Yo, we made it. Yo, this is so clean. We just came out of Naptown Thrift. The place is sick. The people are great. 
We're, uh, we're getting them tour shirts. They're the first people that are getting tour shirts. So, Indianapolis, you have been good to us so yeah. far. Yeah. When we were in Naptown, I filmed a couple clips for Instagram, but I didn't film anything with the camera because they have music playing and that's not conducive to um, YouTube guidelines. They have a lot of really cool stuff. But they said when I posted the Instagram story and I said, yo, we're on the way, we'll be there in like two hours. They replied to me, they're like, hey, be safe, we'll see you when you get here. And then they said they reposted the story and Mitch Brown, Kid Quill, messaged them and was like, yo, those guys have been following me for a long time. They're really good people. So like that just, oh man, that made me feel good because Mitch is definitely one of my favorite artists. If you haven't listened to Kid Quill, definitely check him out. He's got new music that's coming out and everything that he's put out so far has been great. And we'll grow. It's Indie at Rush Hour on a Friday. Yeah, get that whole fire farm truck. We out here, go meets. <laughs> on our way through Indiana, into Illinois, on our way to St. Louis, we're Missouri. Brazil. Yeah, we're passing Is this Brazil. Class five or something? I didn't bring my passport. <laughs> Indianapolis is actually a really cool city. We didn't really see a whole lot, but I mean, we went downtown and walked around for a little bit. Now, to the mall? Yeah, I paid $10 for Nolan to park so we could poop at the mall. Almost spent $80 on six Hot Wheels. Oh yeah, he found six Hot Wheels that he wanted and the kid scans all of them. And they're like five bucks at Target. So I'm thinking, all right, smaller shop, maybe a markup, maybe like seven, eight bucks, all right? I almost had a stroke, bro. Kid scans all of them. He wanted like $83. This was just a store at the mall. And all it's like, yeah, uh, never mind. And just walked out of the store. Just 99 cents. Trout boys owned a machine shop in the late 1800s. And uh, they built all sorts of these pony truss bridges in uh, Shelbyville. Illinois and the surrounding counties. This one was in service for a long time and then they brought it to this rest stop. I don't know, it's a cool piece of Illinois history and they own a machine shop and I work in a machine shop. So, uh, sturdy, but it is, a, it is a damn sturdy bridge. That's kind of cool. We're driving down um, the uh, highway and I said to Nolan, I said, yeah, there's a sign for like, it was just a road sign like next exit world's largest and there were six things there was a rocking chair there was a wind chime a mailbox all sorts of stuff i'm driving i pull off the exit we're driving through this small town called casey illinois we just yeah. saw the only cop and only stoplight in town in the same intersection <laughs> yeah <laughs> there's like i'm from a small town this is so much cooler than the small town that I'm from. The only cool thing that my small town has to offer is an NFL coach that is now coaching in this state. So there's the world's largest rocking chair. I wanna see a rock. Yeah, me too. The landscaping is beautiful. And that's the world's largest wind chime. We parked beside the world's largest teeter-totter. I'm a sucker for Texaco signs, so of course we blow past this going through Casey. So perfect photo op, had to stop. Casey, Illinois, number two pencil. It's not real. Well, it looks good. Giant barber's pole. We found the giant mailbox and Nolan, what's illegal about the mailbox? It's way too tall. It's taller than 37 and a half inches. Some solid Americana here in uh, Casey, Illinois. Fairlane, Casey Classic Cars. Galaxy. Galaxy. 500, baby. Look at this. This is the world's largest birdcage. By far, my favorite world's largest thing in Casey, Illinois. It goes the whole way from the sidewalk to that's at least 20 feet tall. Maybe 25. So sick. Praise hell, praise Dale, brother. Middle America is so cool. We're going 70 west through Illinois. Nolan's like, I'm tired. I'm gonna put in a Walmart and we'll find a place to stop. So it's a couple miles down the road. We get off the highway and it's like, okay, now you gotta go 28 miles in the middle of like bum Illinois. <laughs> so we got to Walmart, we got all set up. I got pepperoni rolls and cane sauce. Nolan's got the uh, Kraft mac and cheese. We out here, I think we're going to use the bronze one on the 
hat map tomorrow. I just want to eat. It's so hot. I'm gonna call it a night for tonight. I'm going to sit down and edit today's video. I didn't get a chance to upload the uh, one today because we didn't hit a Starbucks. Might just save them all until we get to PA and just release them daily then. I'm not sure yet. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe at Horsepower Pizza on every platform imaginable. Peace out. Build it for you.